Okay, hello, welcome, Craig Adams here. It is Thursday, April 18th, 2024. I'm here in Brooklyn, New York. Welcome to the stream. This is kind of a pseudo podcast. Work alongside me. Got to do some research for an upcoming trip. Hoping to go to Brazil next week. I think that would be cool. Um, my whole week is open. And my son is coming soon, next month, a couple weeks. So this might be the last time that I get to travel internationally before I should stay home and help Mika with the baby. <laughs> so it'd be nice to get one last trip in before three months of just hanging out. I also have our first guest coming today. Um, I hope this to become like a normal thing to just get people on. We're just going to do voice on Discord with Wholesome Simon, Simon Kim. Um, it'll be an introduction call for him and I. We haven't been able to chat. We've just texted, messaged. Um, but he's a YouTube creator. And I have a lot of questions. <laughs> and that's all it is. Like I do phone calls with other creators every so often, sometimes for the first time, but some reoccurring and I love those calls. So I'm just going to stream it, I guess, and see how that goes. How's it going? We got Michael. Hello. On your way home to Edinburgh. Nice. Edinburgh is uh, Scotland, right? Pretty sure. Come to Brazil. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to get to Brazilian fans in the chat this time. Thank you. We're going to get to all things Brazil, advice, um, okay. I have an idea of what I want to do and it's not the best to go in and out, like do a quick trip for such a long flight, but I think I only have time for maybe four or five days. So I might do one overnight hike and then maybe some beach hangout in Rio, but we shall see. Yeah, but I'm, I'm very open. And once I have a good plan, I'm going to kind of dox my trip a little bit on Instagram and locals and, pe and followers on Instagram will definitely give me some advice for what to do in Rio, Rio de Janeiro. I've never been, and I don't speak Portuguese, so where to eat, where to stay, what to do uh, during that time would be appreciated. Uh, but the last stream was six days ago, about two and a half hours, thoughts after hiking alone in the Azores. And reflecting on that stream, um, I definitely like wrote in my notes that I should just slow down, relax, and do more storytelling and realize that there's a lot of value, not in only the live aspect, but the VOD. So I wanna just relax and converse more, take my time. Um, but yeah, y'all left a couple questions. Wow, we got like, hold on, we can do that. I think that helps, right? a little better for once we when we got like the comments over overlaying the comments it's not a good look so is it mika portuguese no um we have Por she has portuguese passport a portuguese passport so um we love portugal but we don't speak any <laughs> But as an American speaking English, I've got I've made my way around, so I don't have much incentive to learn other languages in true American fashion. Atlantic rainforest. Love from India. Yes, India is on the list. In November, I hope to go to Nepal for sure. And I think I should combo that trip with something in India, but we shall see. I've got to get the timing right. I don't know. Like if I'm hiking in Nepal, it must be a good time to hike in India. We'll see. I just, I feel like I need help. <laughs> if yes, and do, do your recent travel, you should start learning Portuguese. Yes. Okay. 
Philippe is giving me suggestions. Awesome. Here, let's just, hold on. Can I highlight? Let's just throw this in so we can check it in a minute. Um, the second one, I don't know what that is. Oh, specifically, transcornea. I don't, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm the worst at saying things. Eight days, so maybe, oh, we're gonna watch some videos for sure. Here, let's just pop this in our to-do. Can we just get the YouTube for it? Yeah. I don't know anything about that, but we're just gonna let that be. And then is there a YouTube video for this? What is this? Yeah, let's just search, grab this. And just let that be. Um, yeah, I have I have an idea for the, the like the one hike that I want to do in Brazil, and it's the third that you suggested there. So, <laughs> buy a parrot. Can you buy parrots? And <laughs> can you <laughs> can you buy parrots? I just want to see if something shows up. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Yeah, I don't know if you should buy exotic birds and, and bring them on airplanes, but I don't think Sasha would like that either. I'm going to have to kindly <laughs> not buy a parrot. Plus one parrot reminds me of the Disney Rio movies. What's up, Daniel? From Germany. Hello. How you doing, man? Mount Remora, I know. It's a little bit far north of what I'm hoping to do, I think. Um, and also with the last video, the music was going hard. I think sometimes the, the piano can just be a bit too much. So let's, let's try something else a little bit. I think it was loud and I tend to just like to have music playing in the background, but it was a bit too much on the last one. So, um, if you're in chat, you have a good idea of my voice level to the music. So if there's ever a moment when it's popping off or you can't really hear it, just give me a little, you know, give me some help. Y'all got my back, right? I would appreciate that. Happy Portuguese passport. Nice. Or a uh, pass, pass over. Greetings. I don't plan on visiting the north. I'm going to go over that. Only 88 degrees here in Vegas. So you need to find another Southwest trip before it gets too hot. The Mighty Five. So Scott, yeah, I did have a plan to do one, you know, uh, the desert in the Southwest always entices me uh, when I'm coming out of the New York winter and I want to do something. <laughs> uh, but I had a big trip with a company that I signed an NDA with. I think I mentioned this before, but I can't. It didn't work out. So I was going to go do the big five national parks down there again. I've been to all of them and shoot something big, um, but it didn't work out, which is okay. Cause it would have been a bit ambitious to go do that huge road trip. It's almost like 30, 35 hours of driving to do all the big five. I think, uh, like national, like grand Canyon, Zion arches, all those. Music is perfect. Help us calm. <laughs> Soundtrack. Oh, yeah. And I was trying to do like um, royalty free music that isn't going to get copy. I don't, like, there's getting the music copy flagged where you can't use it, play it. Like it takes down your video and then there's copyright music where they just take the monetization. Uh, and then there's like royalty free music that allows you to make money, place ads and you can use it. And I thought I was doing like use the music and monetize it. But the thing about streaming on YouTube, especially compared to Twitch, maybe you get one song that is 
flagged, they get the whole video. So um, I'm kind of done trying to monetize these videos with ads. Oof. Yeah, this music hits well. I don't know who he is, what he does, but as you can see, I mainly use mu uh, YouTube for music these days. <laughs> My su suggestions, uh, suggested videos are all just music. And I pay for Spotify and have considered not paying for it because I don't really use it. But Mika uses it and we're on the, like the couples thing. So it's fine. Yes. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. All the advice. Travessia. Petropolis. Terra. So. Pol pol polis. That's the one that I'm hoping to do. Yeah, so let's just bring that up. Um, I think, yeah, it's so bright. There needs to be a dark mode for everything. And I've got this little button I can press to invert. <laughs> for this, it doesn't work. For like my notes, it kind of works a little bit, but this is, it's too cursed. Like my face is too cursed to leave it like this. So let's suffer the bright mode for a little bit. Y'all can deal with it. Uh, okay, so Greg Adams, maps, favorites. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna try to get all this research done before two o'clock. It's one twelve here. Uh, so in 48 minutes, I'm hoping to get Simon on Discord voice, and I got a bunch of questions for him. Yeah, let's get Recycling Bin. Can Recycling Bin be somewhere else? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's better. Nice. Um, yeah, so we got like 40-ish minutes to try to plan something. Okay. Music is a little quiet. See, the thing about this track is that it goes up and down a little bit. We can turn it up a little bit, right? I got copyright for singing Whitney Houston's song for Melody. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, vaccines. Let me, yeah, that would be a good thing. Um, USA, traveling to Brazil. So I did kind of notice. Okay. COVID. Is it yellow fever? Measles? <laughs> this is just a random ass website, but maybe y'all would know, but I feel like I saw a video where someone was talking about yellow fever. Some are required. Okay. Recommended. What's required? I just want to know. It's not required, but it's recommended. This is the one that I saw. Malaria. And yeah, for sure if I'm if I'm booking my flights next week, I need to get this done tomorrow. So if y'all know, that would help me out. <laughs> Going to Brazil in a month. Nice. Yeah, any suggestions? Um you only need yellow fever for some northern areas. Uh, so maybe I should narrow it down. Well, how do you how do you say it? Rio, Rio de Jan, Rio. People just call it Rio, right? Do I have to say? Yellow fever is mostly on the north. I didn't get vaccine. For, but depends on where. Okay. Um. Do I need vaccine 
traveling to Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> Let's just see what this says. Is this is this a chat GPT kind of thing? Should I try? Let's just see what it does. Can I log in? Uh, let me log in over here. So you delinquents. That's not good. <laughs> Ugh. Nah, it's like, it's being super annoying. I'll just sign it with Google real quick. All right, there we go. Cool. Do I need vaccine traveling to Rio? Is this how you chat GPT? I spelled it wrong, but. <laughs> COVID-19. All right, you're useless. I'm bad at it. <laughs> Where is just in case? 17, you can help. Yeah, chat GPT doesn't really. Okay, so the plan is to hike this trail. What is it called? So, Therosopolis. Therops. Therop. Therosalopis. <laughs> Therosalopis. Therosalopis. I don't know. I, I just. I need to hear it once. Can I just, like, get it? don't need it okay I might yeah I think I'm fine cool 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 how do you say this how to pronounce will this do it Therizopolis 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 Am I saying it like a Portuguese? Beth is going to uh, Patagonia? Nice. Ker have I considered Kyrgyzstan? I definitely have. I had a trip planned, but then baby stuff made me have to cancel for this year. I was planning like a big old hiking trip. I had three videos in mind, uh, but I'm definitely gonna go next year. Oh, we're going to talk about that after this for sure. I want to talk about group hikes. I want to do two, maybe three next year. And um, I want to go to Kyrgyzstan. I need to start dialing in plans for next year. I'm super excited. And well, and um, before, see, when I have to chapter <laughs> these live streams after the fact, uh, it drives me crazy when I jump around so much because it's like, back and forth, back and forth, but kind of works that way. It just is. Um, remind me to go into, we're going to check out like just a YouTube review because the channel is doing something crazy right now. I'm breaking some records and it's, it's weird. It's going wild right now. One video in particular is just kind of blowing up. It's like a year, over a year old, maybe three years old. All right, let's just, we'll look at it. <laughs> Take a break. Um, so everything seems chill. You know, the Azores video is a, is a one out of 10, I believe, just because I've been, I've had a sleepy little channel for the last year. Uh, I haven't traveled much. I haven't uploaded that much. I'm just kind of relaxing, chilling, all cool. I'm shooting some, some b-ball outside of the school. Um, where does it say? I don't think it says it. But anyway, it's this video is doing great. It's fine. It's whatever. 
Uh, with no guide, it's super short, so the engagement is way down low because it's a shorter video. It's only 14 minutes instead of like 20, 25, 30. Um, but uh, my channel is going wild right now because of this video. So I think I mentioned it last time, but since the last stream a week, this video has just gone insane. Um, so it's three years old. It's a four hour ambient silent video. I changed the title and the thumbnail right here, but then I also fixed the monetization because I wasn't, uh, the music was stealing all of the money and then I fixed it and then it's gone wild. So in the last probably like week, it's made an insane amount. So yesterday, this video made $3,000. Today it's gonna be even more. So it's wild. Um, and then overall, I have broken new record for watch time. Each day I'm breaking a new record. So if I zoom out to my lifetime, you can see this is a huge hockey stick. So right here, it's just going off the charts. So if I go last 365 days, still off the charts with the watch time because of this one video and a couple other of the long form videos. The music, uh, I don't know. The thing, the tricky thing with these compilation videos, if I don't re-record, like add new music, I'm just using old licensing again. So it was just like music bed stuff that isn't licensed or I don't know, some ambient stuff over the years. Because back in the day, I really wasn't, um, it didn't matter so much that I was getting the monetization. So just, you know, using any old music was fine, but more so than ever before with the bigger, bigger stakes, you know, actual money to be made with the videos, uh, reserving the rights to the monetization is like more important than ever before. So within the last, yeah, um, So I, I like, you can see, it's just whatever. It's great. I was happy with this. And then the last couple of days, oh, that's 28 days. Um, it's just breaking new records. So each day, it's just insane to make $3,000 with AdSense yesterday. And it should update, it's about 1.30 right now. I'm just, I'm kind of excited to see, like breaking records, hockey stick, all because of this crazy video. So it's exciting. And it just broke a million views. So we got the one M. Scott's saying, would it make more sense to hire one of your Metro's best session guys to do four hours of piano for a one-time fee? So this is a great idea. Scott, you're hitting on something. You're hitting on something. I have had this idea. Um, first, it was like, I need to learn myself. <laughs> I need to learn piano because just putting in the time and the effort and being able to make my own stuff would be worth it in the end. There's a lot of incentive to do that, um, but uh, it just won't happen. <laughs> I need to put more, I need to get more help to motivate myself to do that and make it happen. So I'm like, okay. So let me go to the man himself, Alaskan Tapes, and ask Brady if he would make me a custom score. And I had this idea of flying to Toronto, quick, easy flight from New York, um, hanging out with him, getting to finally meet in person. And Alaskan Tapes, if you don't know. Come on. I don't type anything. That's like, I, I just don't type anything correct now. Everything is always wrong. He's gonna, he's probably, yeah. Let's just give him the music. <laughs> uh or give him the money by playing his music on stream. So it would be so fun to like finally get to hang out and uh, make some custom music 
I don't know how much work that is, but I feel like people who are really good at piano can kind of just um, just vibe it out, you know? So I used a lot of his music in my stuff and he would be the perfect, perfect person to make some custom stuff for me. Uh, but it just kind of isn't happening. Um, once again, just incentives. I should just do it, but something doesn't, just makes it not happen. So I've got a local guy that I met here in Brooklyn. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing. I'm just trying to like make it easier and easier. So I'm definitely gonna try to make, I was thinking like a one hour custom piano piece, ambient, and then loop it if I need to, but he's confident that he could make, you know, hours, hours of piano stuff. So um, I'm gonna like, we're gonna hang out, I'll throw one of my hiking videos up just as inspiration, I guess, and just let them jam. So we'll see how that goes. That's a good idea. Uh, but hey, if you're listening, um, I would love to make the Toronto trip happen. Obviously, I'd come to you because you have the studio. Um, so let me know. And it would, it would be fun just to, I know you have your podcast and you're making music and stuff, but jump in on Discord to chat about the idea uh, before we do it on stream here would be fantastic. So let's hang. Uh -huh. Lucas says, I'm one of the people who watched a few times. Well, to be honest, we have a large TV background at work and we put on a lot of ambient videos. So that's what it is. You know, the average watch time for the video that's popping off. Um, yeah, welcome to the 1M Club. Digital minimalism, almost there. These ones are going to take some time to get there, but uh, the average watch duration so these first three years, nothing special, but uh, the last 28 days, it's up to over an hour and 36 minutes. So yeah, people watching it <laughs> in the background at work uh, with, um, where is it? It's the uh, Does it say, I thought it said how much money was made through, um, YouTube premium, whatever. Anywho, bah, that's bright. So yeah, that's exciting. First time in South America? No, I've been to South America many times. Um, Peru, Colombia, uh, Argentina, Chile. First time in Brazil though. Do, I don't want to check trek in Norway. I do. We just got to make it happen. So, okay. The plan. Why do I want to come here? Uh, I think the temperature is good. So, out of like the whole array of options, it's not that far for me to travel. Well, it's kind of far. I'd connect in Colombia. But if I'm just traveling by myself, I don't really care. I can do it. Um, I believe now is a good time. So let me double check that. So this is the first thing I always... Best month to hike in Rio... Rio de Janeiro. I cannot say that. I think it's fall right there. So September through so spring, lovely time to hike. The winter till October. Brazilian winter is June through September. The best weather is September, October, November. I don't know. Let's just look at the weather forecast. 
it's different up in the mountains. So it's hot, but this seems manageable. You know, up in the mountains, it'd be a little different. So let's search this. What did you, what do I think of Peru? Loved it. I've been there five or six times. For a young backpacker, hiker, traveler, it's a fantastic place. It's very affordable. And there's some great mountains and great food and great people. Everyone I've met in Brazil has been fantastic. Colombia was a quick trip, but lovely. You know, the green, so good. So up in the mountains, it's a bit cooler. So that's great. Um, but this seems like a cool city to hang out. Um, you know, I'm not gonna be too crazy but I'd like to walk around and, and see a bit of Rio. And what I do is I'm a coffee drinker. So obviously I'm going to look for advice and I'm going to ask on Instagram for specific things. Um, but I'm going to zoom out before I dox myself. Everyone knows about the statue. That's a cool preview. Uh, I'm a coffee drinker. So when I travel, the thing that I do is I look for the good coffee because near the good coffee is usually just chill parks and dogs and it's safe and it's walkable. When I travel, I like to walk. So it seems this is the beach area. There's a lot of beach. But this seems like a, like this stretch. There's a park here. The coffee, Aussie coffee. That looks chill. <laughs> Fogo, to, this is that steakhouse, right? Oh yeah. Been there, done that. Not that one specifically. I've done the one in LA. California coffee <laughs> right near, so this would this be the airport no this one that's a big one yeah so I'll try to figure out like advice from people <clears throat> be careful in Rio yeah people say that fall is kind of hot in Brazil park for the bike is open direct flights from New York yeah Brazil's too big, and the weather's really different north to south. Um, different states. Now, see, this will be my first time in Brazil, so I usually try to keep it small and manageable. And like I said, I just want it to be a four or five day trip. So I'm just gonna fly in, hang out, do this hike, sleep up there probably in the hut um, or tent, and then come back rest and then fly out that seems pretty good to me I, I think there's a lot to see in this city so maybe two days um, but just doing this one hike I think is the vibe for this trip Brazilian Hawaii Ooh. how much coffee would you say you drink in a day uh, I've never measured it out but um, maybe four cups maybe five Rio is not good. <laughs> Hot take, but okay. Okay, music is popping off, right? Just a little bit. Yeah. Weather forecast. Okay, so let me show you a 3D for this. Uh, my plan is to taxi up to this town and then sleep somewhere. I've looked at a couple hotels in this area. Nothing too crazy, um, but sleeping and then getting an early start right out of town. You know, I'd like to do drone shot, um, you know, really involve this these two towns because it's a town to town hike. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, I guess I don't go down there. 
Um, but yeah, involving this town, this city, I think would be cool. So then hiking up, 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 up. And then I have the whole day to shoot everything, get up there. And then I need to like figure it out if I want to sleep in the hut. The hut seems like the vibe, but I got to make sure that there's room. And if there's not room, uh, I'm pretty sure I can tent, uh, but I'm going to double check that. Uh, from my research, I saw that it's a national park, Parquet National, um, so it might be busy. And um, there's an entrance. I think I need to get a ticket. So it looks like there's an entrance here, probably. Um, I figure that's an in-person kind of thing, though. Very easy to do. So I'm not worried about that. I'll do that once I arrive in town. I need to book my hike. Drink a coffee at this park. This looks cool. It's probably busy though, right? That's a cool vibe. Yeah, that'd probably be worth going to. That looks chill. Good advice. Some cool mini coffee makers for hikers and campers. <laughs> in Brazil, if you're on the street and two guys on a motorcycle approach you, it means you're in trouble. Yeah. So, you know me. I'm walking around. Big, tall American, obviously, with a tripod and a camera and a backpack so I might stand out a little bit more than usual so I need to keep that in mind uh, I have luckily never been in any bad situations but people have told me stuff about Brazil people have told me stuff about almost everywhere I go um, I'm pretty aware and vigilant and I don't want to put myself in bad situations and I tend to as much as I can be chill like not obnoxious so they're not showing it but on my macbook last time i looked at 3d trails and all trails they were like doing atmosphere for the mountains in the distance and it looked so cool they're not doing it for this which is kind of annoying but uh this is the hike so like i said we got a big first day going up, up, up. This is all woods. So zigzags is going to be hot, tiring. Should start get views backwards, though. But it seems like we start to break out of the trees right here. And then there's a couple little offshoots, it seems, to do the miradors, the views, because I think the best, yeah, the best views are like looking back this way, I think. Um, but it seems great. Rio's not, not for amateurs. What's up, Aurora? Really missed the, the streams. Glad you're back when you have the time. Nice. Yeah, the streams are great. Um, starting from, hmm, it's better to begin the trail and end there. Okay. That's doable. This is quieter. This is, yeah, I could do that. This is definitely a waterfall, probably, right? Yeah. My waterfall vibes are tingling uh, for that. Looking up and then hit out of the trees. Probably a little earlier, like right down here. A little bit right here. Up this ridge. Big rock pile. There's the hut. This would be a short day. So if I started here, 
up to the hut is 13 miles, 15. So it's about five to six miles up to that. So I would, I would probably leave, drive out here in the morning, get breakfast or lunch and then start and then sleep up here. And then early the next day, get the sunrise with the sun coming up over these mountains, maybe this way more. Um, but all of this would be backlit and starting out early, that would probably be the best views. Um, backlit, early sun, less people hitting this ridge. Every shot looking this way is probably like, you know, the thing I'm, I'm looking for. Hitting this view top part and then all the way down uh, through the trees would just be kind of monotonous a little bit. And then ending here with a nice hotel. Okay, yeah, I, I agree. That's good advice. I met someone from Brazil at a hostel and they said don't take out any expensive gear in Rio, even cell phone. <laughs> yeah, impossible not to do, but yeah, I'm not going to be obnoxious about it. The problem is being alone. But if you're with Brazilians, that's okay to come to Brazil. <sighs> yeah. Are you ever scared sleeping in a tent in the middle of nowhere? No, it's relaxing. The website about the park. So we say, what were we saying? There were like tickets or bookings or there's probably bookings for the hut, right? I'm gonna do that on my own. Why are you only staying four or five days in Brazil? Um, I wanna get in and out. Um, so it is the middle of April, you know, almost the end, like getting to the end of April. And my wife is due in like four weeks, five weeks, four weeks. Um, so I gotta not dilly dally, you know, I don't know. Cause I don't wanna be in Brazil when my son is born or just, you know, any chance. <laughs> I just need to get one big trip in. And I might go to LA right after this, so I don't wanna like mess around. It's free entrance, but the national park is closed on Mondays. <laughs> That's kind of funny that the whole, the whole thing just closed. I would love to hike on Monday when there's no one there and <laughs> we sick. Yeah, five miles would be nothing, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Greg. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Tickets. Philippe. Uh, so let's just, um, yeah, thank you, Nadine. Uh, I haven't really watched any videos. So let's just see, let's see what the competition is. So um, I think it's good to watch. Let's pause this. So let's check. And also like, what do you call this hike? Do you just call it Therosopolis? So like my video would be called hiking alone. <sighs> Uh, like what, like what do people call it? You know what I mean? What's the branding for it? Hike. It's, it's like the tra traverse, right? Traverse. People call it that, right? Thero, Theropolis. <laughs> Theropolis. So I keep seeing this a lot. So this, this, that's like Portuguese for traverse, I'm assuming, right? So I guess I would call it that. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, three days. Who is spending three days up here? 
let's watch this first one. So seven months ago, 62,000 views. This seems to be like a Portuguese creator. See, this is what I'm talking about. The backlit early sunrise. Yeah, that's gotta be early sunrise. No vídeo de hoje você me acompanha em uma yeah, das gorgeous. travessias mais bonitas e desafiadoras do Brasil. São cerca de 30 km de caminhada, subindo e descendo montanhas, saindo de Petrópolis yeah, which direction did she go? no Rio de Janeiro. Três dias andando e duas noites acampando em meio à natureza. Vem comigo que a partir de agora eu mostro I don't tudo speak this language. Oh, that's like, yeah. It looks cool. Bom, eu fui para o Rio de Janeiro antes okay, e fiquei so hospedada nesse rosto que fica a 200 way. metros da entrada do Parque Nacional da Serra dos Órgãos, que é o Parque da Travessia. Em seguida, deixei a moto no estacionamento ao lado, encontrei o pessoal e fomos para o parque. Chegando lá, é preciso assinar um termo confirmando que está ciente dos riscos da travessia. E só então é possível dar início ao trajeto. Can someone translate? Só dá para fazer esse tracking <laughs> se tiver efetuado a reserva no... Ok, so she signed something. O primeiro dia até que Entrance ticket, leve, maybe free. If it's muito, paid, that's fine. Just doing it in person is what I'm, I'm looking to do. Should be straightforward. Visual da paisagem já ajuda a dar aquela motivação maybe para I need, seguir na caminhada. Maybe I need a Brazilian um, with me. <laughs> All right, let's. We can just watch these muted. Uh, let's put the music back on. Cool. So let's just get. A vibe here. So she camped. I think I would like to tent camp, to be honest. I would have to um, get some supplies and camping fuel uh, to cook food, but it's a huge city, Rio. So I'm, I'm more, I'm pretty confident I could find some, some hiking gear. I don't know what the Brazilian. Uh, camping store rei is called use youtube cc auto translate i don't know if there's like an auto translate click for settings is there settings Oh, auto translate English. My man, thanks for the advice. That helps. That's good. See, if she can do it, I can do it. So she's up there. And then we got the morning. That food looked gross. <laughs> I've got a new coffee maker, an AeroPress I want to try on this hike, so get some nice Brazilian coffee. And she's got some friends, that's good. So where to camp is a question mark, but I'm sure I could get that information when I go talk to the the people. This is what, this is like, this is why you hike. The morning after you wake up there with clear skies, with the, the mist, light going through gorgeous the overcast isn't ideal but you're getting a little bit of color right here gorgeous so it's like the whole trip the whole hike is to just put myself in the best place to wake up to have this view but just capture the whole thing because if you think about it the hiking video is almost like a behind the scenes a how to get one shot so what is the best shot? And that shot is usually your thumbnail. And that thumbnail just kind of anchors the entire video. So it's like, what is all the stuff that you have to do to get to this spot at the right time, with the right angle, <laughs> with the right gear, fed and not tired, like getting there happy on time with the right gear, the tools. So that's, what, that's why I like these videos. It's just, okay, so. And we got some mist. It's not ideal, but contrast is good. When 
the weather is always the same. It's not as interesting as if, you know, day one versus day two is different. Like I'm, I'm okay having one day of rain or storm or cloud because it just adds to the contrast. So this video is not bad. So she slept again. I'm extremely confident that I can do this hike in two days. Oh no, <laughs> don't do that. The solar chargers. So maybe she slept more down towards, she doesn't have any like guide. It's okay. Let's drop, drop a comment. I appreciate Brazilian coffee's top notch. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm Brazilian and I can give you some tips on how to make this crossing. Chapada the I can't say these words. I I can kind of do Spanish, but I cannot do um Portuguese is just out of my wheelhouse. What do we got here? So let's see where it is and let's see what images we got. This looks chill. Where is it? That's and let's that's getting towards the Amazon. I think this is like the border. That's deep. Let's mark it. Why not? Seems like a lot of waterfalls. I think I've seen things like this before. Looks okay. So that was a good video. Um, I'm not really seeing any um, like US, English, American. That's also kind of why I want to do this hike because I totally wrote um, Brazil off. Like I, I'm like, it's not for hiking, it's flat. Maybe there's some stuff, but it's hard to get to. Uh, this is right next to Rio. I think the branding of this hike is is top notch. Um, getting a thumbnail like this, uh, showing how easy it is to fly to Rio and then get a taxi up to the trailhead and back. Um, there's a hut. It's not that long, but it's still an overnight. I think this is branded well for beginner hikers or people in the US who want to go to South America. And like I said, I've never heard of any hiking in Brazil. So I think this is a good start for me to start, <laughs> a good start for me to start hiking more in Brazil. Yeah, great English. Uh, but the advice to start on this side, I think makes a lot of sense. So what was that town called? It was this. Where's the trailhead for this? Well, we can just mark this. This is the little little sleepy town. Are there hotels here though? Maybe up in the mountains here. These kind of look not. This looks fine. Just a place to sleep and eat. Yeah, if I have one night in Rio, I would like one night here and then one night in uh, the other town. All depends on the weather. So that looks good. I'm excited for that. Mm -mm -mm. What's up, Will? How you doing? It's not the Amazon, still dry area. Yeah. Request uh, India. I would love to do some India research, just not now. It's almost, we're almost going to invite Simon on. 
and uh, we're going to switch gears into chatting with him. Um, Aurora, I would love to hear how you feel about the safety and stuff in Rio when you're doing your trip breakdown. Yeah, I, I mentioned it a little bit. I've heard things about Rio. Um, um, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab my Instagram real quick. Hold on. I'm doing on the stuff on the secret second monitor. Give me a sec. I think I got some advice from Andre. Really the only Brazilian I know. <laughs> uh, he's based in LA. But maybe I should get him on stream <laughs> just to chat a little bit. Uh just about knowing Brazilian things. I would trust whatever he says and tells me more than most things. So um, I'm not too worried. I Like I said, I got to be dumb. I have a plan. I'm not going to like dilly dally in rando areas. I'm just going to stick to the touristy areas. And I travel so much by myself. I don't knock on wood. I've never had any bad situations. I'm assuming it's pretty easy to get to these towns. I'd probably take a bus up to like these main towns and then a taxi. But if Uber is cheap, I can probably book it here and get out there. I'm doubting I could call Ubers from these mountain towns. But calling an expensive Uber from here to get here, I think is is the vibe. Yeah, Big Bend is next. Yeah. I'm I'll I'll meet you. Meet you there. Place is beautiful to sleep, you're a great choice. You were talking about custom music for your ambient videos. I know someone who would be, who'd really jam something interesting. Absolutely, yeah, do the legwork and connect us and make it happen. You know, I'm very open with the fact that I need help on it uh, and I'm, I'm willing to pay. <laughs> like I, I'm willing to incentivize that to happen. So yeah, help, help make it happen. Do you use a GoPro? Uh, no, I don't have a GoPro. I've had like many, as GoPro users do. They buy GoPros, they see the new one, they get rid of it. Like the resale market for GoPros must be crazy. What I was looking at is the, what is it? The DJI Ram Mini 4? Do we have, there, Amazon. Um, was, this is in my cart. Uh, I know that there's there's supposed to be a new one. There's supposed to be some new drones this summer, so I'm I, a little weary. Like I like if the new drones come out, I might honestly buy this one because the price will drop. But the improvement from this to the, from mine to this Have one is not that much. Have you considered Australia, Cradle Mountain? Uh, thanks for the four pounds. Have I considered Australia? Yeah, I looked at it a little bit when I was doing my New Zealand research. And I think because of the flight duration and price, I would definitely do what I did in New Zealand and be out there for three or four weeks and try to do as much as I can uh, because I don't know the next time I'll come back to Australia. Cradle Mountain. Let's just, let's, let's get that up. This looks cool. All right, oh, oop, 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 oop. oop. That's not good. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at, no, if I do that one more time. <laughs> Cursed, open. Okay, we're gonna mark it. Cause I mark everything in Google Maps. That is not, okay, that is, that's Tans, Tans, Tasmania. You wouldn't call this Australia, would you? I've done a little bit of research on Tasmania. It looks like a good time, so definitely in the future. But on the list of things to do, Japan, way ahead of this. Uh, things in India and Nepal again, way ahead of this. Uh, everything in, in the Swiss Alps, way higher on the scale. Things in Norway, Sweden, Finland, higher on the list. So 
there's a whole list of, of places to visit and things to do. So I don't know, man. It's tough. Good, good advice though. And Kyrgyzstan for sure. Okay. It's two o'clock. Let's get, um, let's drop this down just a little bit. Music volume. Okay. I want it to be like low key. So let's get Simon on. So let's bring up his stuff. Let's clear out this junk for a little bit. Dismiss. Let's pull up his YouTube. Wholesome Simon. Simon Kim, right? Simon Kim. Today we're going to be talking with Simon. There he is. Let's do a voice call. Hello, hey. hello. Hey. How's it going? Great. Can you hear me fine? Cool, dude. Yeah, I can hear you. Does, is my sound good? Yeah, you sound great. How cool, you doing? I I'm doing good, dude. I was watching the stream. It's so trippy. Oh, like, how am I supposed to navigate this? Do I keep the stream up? <laughs> like... Yeah, uh, I'm going to try to pull up stuff. And like I mentioned, cool. this is like, this is just a call, dude. Like, it, it, this could have just been a phone call with me walking my dog and chatting with you. <laughs> but scheduling yeah. it is like sometimes what you got to do to make it happen. I'd love to just call you out of the blue. I don't know if you're that kind of person, but. Yeah, no, feel free at any point, dude. How, how are you doing? Congrats on uh, the baby as well. Thank um, you exciting news dude yeah whole new chapter i'm not sure um how it'll affect travel and, and video creation i i don't yeah. want to become a person that like makes new types of videos just because i'm a dad but um yeah i hope to still travel and make the craig video. adams family content that's, era. yeah that's always the joke <laughs> it's like here come the baby vlogs but no yeah um yeah and and uh and uh Dude, uh, yeah, so I was, like, watching your stuff. So, first off, how did we meet? Um, I have got a message from yeah. you about Sunny Day. Yep. I nev and never heard of you before, as as, <laughs> as every relationship starts. Yep. And then looking through the company stuff, I, I realized that, oh, you're a creator. Because at first I thought you were just, like, doing coffee just stuff. Do yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, a, as I dove deeper into everything that you are, started to uncover like all the travel stuff, like just how young you are. And I'm assuming you're younger than me. And then like the, uh, the camp stuff, amazing. And then just this whole, what is it? Slow creator or new, new wave? Yeah. Like YouTube new wave, that sort of thing. Yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot of lore, I guess the <laughs> iceberg. Um, that's so funny. But how, like, so it seems like you're a creator who very much is the story like you're just kind of sharing your thoughts your process your adventures um so you must like share this with your audience a lot like how often do you share this like on other people's podcasts or with other people yeah in terms of just like i guess this what's interesting is like a lot of my videos back in i guess what i've been doing the last few years is how i'd explain it to people would be like Yo, I just like lived life was like whatever I was doing, going through college, maybe like working on a business, something like that, or like going on this adventure. And I'd like go two or three months just kind of documenting everything in my life. And then almost like when I felt like a moment of growth happened or something big happened, it'd just be like taking all that and, and kind of like telling that story in the last few months of my life. So I did that for a while. And then when I came across your stuff, it was actually really cool because a lot of what that was in the beginning was like in the mental health space, like how do we like, essentially I was always obsessed with like the idea of like algorithms and how you get some random time with someone across the world who you may not have met before. Like how do we have mm -hmm. a good impact through that? Um, and so a lot of it was based in the mental health space. And then I was like, actually I went on my first road trip with my friends and I was like, being outdoors is probably the best thing that's happened to me for like my mental head 
you know, help and head space. Is this and the so, Project West thing that you're talking about? Or yeah, yeah, this is, the, this is the Project West uh, trip. And then since then, I was like Past going on a binge of a lot of creators that are like more in the outdoor space, getting into backpacking. And of course, that's when I came across your stuff, dude. And I was like, this is so cool. So um, it's kind of been the shift I've been taking is like trying to do more backpacking trips this year. So and through that, like started Sunny Day with a mentor of mine. That's been really fun. But yeah, because uh, like, I've explained to people that like I'm not a hiker, like I'm a filmmaker who started hiking. Like, would you kind of yeah. describe yourself as that more? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, I think like it's so funny. I remember like the first like camping trip I took and somewhere on my channel. But we brought like eggs, dude, and like milk. And like it was the, cra <laughs> <laughs> the craziest Classic. Thing. We did not know what we were doing. Dude, my, my subs will know. They'll be very quick to point out my food <laughs> mess ups. I think I, I was eating tuna, like a lot of tuna at the start, and it was just disgusting. And uh, <laughs> I, I bought the chocolate that you're not supposed to eat in Brazil that you're supposed to cook with or something. And I was oh, legit like taking bites out of this disgusting chocolate, <laughs> trying to keep a straight face on camera. But anyone who knew was like, that's not chocolate you eat. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. There's a lot of, I mean, for you, you, like, I'm curious about how you got into like, I guess backpacking or hiking. And, and I know you've been on this channel for a while now. Like, how did that all come, come to be? Yeah, so I, I already scrolled back to your first videos. They're like four years old. <laughs> Before that, like, do you have, oh, no, okay. Hold on. Can you hear that dog? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My dog is like right at the door in protection Hello. mode. Um, yeah, my story, uh, super abbreviated. Like I went to college, like a tiny college in New York uh, for film, but then just started shooting weddings. And weddings was really my on-ramp to YouTube. Uh, okay. And, like teaching people how to shoot weddings and then moving to New York City. I copied Casey Neistat, made a bunch mm -hmm. of ripoffs of whatever he was doing, vlogging, and then uh, started traveling more. And then, uh, like, found peace and quiet in the mountains away from people. Because, mm. like, traveling to cities like Bangkok is a bit overwhelming sometimes. But if you get into the mountains, it's a bit chiller for yeah. me to make videos. And then just kind of yeah. fell into a rhythm with uh, the silent uh, mm. hiking. And then uh, have found a lot of success with that. So I've just been kind of banging out uh, the same template with small iterations. Uh, and making more of a product than ever before. But it mm -hmm. seems like you have so much passion in everything that you're making right now. And and I keep saying you're younger. Like, do you mind saying, are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm 21. 21, yeah, so you're young. Like, I remember what it was like to be 21 <laughs> as a YouTuber. <laughs> and I see the passion in your videos. Um, like the weirdness, the quirkiness, the, the yeah. all the work is in the editing, I feel like. There's just so much, I don't know. It's fun, right? Definitely, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, there's, it's interesting now that you say that is like, I'd spent the last two years like talking about these extremely personal stories and telling these stories where I'd put like everything into the, the videos. Um, and it's like this year, my goal is to like do that, but like concentrated because like every single video taking that much of yourself and being that personal and like trying to make it this massive thing is, is not very sustainable to what I've seen. Like it's led to a lot of burnout. So I've been trying to like at least for these videos where I go on these backpacking trips, it's like put a little less pressure on it. Mm -hmm. Like it's more of like in that way you're saying it's more of like a product in that sense. Um, but that's been a hard transition to make. Cause I'm always like, Oh, I should do more. Or I should put it like, you know, that sort of thing. But um, it's been a good lesson for me to learn. Like not every video has to be this crazy story or like a movie level, you know? Um, yeah. Not enough people but, talk about yeah. that pressure. I feel it every time I try to make a video, it, it sucks yeah. at the beginning of a trip. Um, because I'm still unsure if the video works because I'm collecting the beginning parts of the footage. But, you know, somewhere around yeah. halfway of every single trip I go on, I feel so much better mentally because I'm like, okay, yeah. at least I know I have a video. And then by the end, I'm like, okay, I have a banger. I'm in a great mood right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm so unsure yeah. at the beginning. Uh, but it seems like you, it's, it's hard to know, but it, for me, it seems more like found footage. Like, obviously you're thinking about all the mm -hmm. cameras and the pacing, but it, it seems like you kind of record a lot and then maybe yeah. trim it down <laughs> a little bit more than I do. Yeah, no, I, I do record a lot, like just randomly, just even when I'm on the hikes and what I've done is just, 
I mean, I'm not like I used to shoot in log. I shot log for like my big band trip, and then I was like, this is too much work, man. Like, <laughs> I, I just want to like set it down and figure it out later. So yeah, a lot of it, at least for me, a lot of the fun's in the editing. I'm not like so. Like shooting doesn't get me super excited or like setting up a frame. I've been trying to learn, but like for me, like I just love being in the edit and yeah, kind of distilling all the footage, Absolutely. which is kind of a grind, but it's it's definitely it's definitely fun. But I mean, what about you from like a filmmaking perspective and like that background? Like, do you find like shooting more fun or like editing? Um, when I was doing like when I do my home vlogs, which I do every so often, uh, it's yeah. shot on iPhone there's zero stress like so chill i love just recording everything and making like with my vlogs weird music the pace changes the absolute chaos of just like doing something unexpected was like what was really fun for me uh, so i've definitely moved away from that like my hiking stuff is so formulaic um, yeah so i know i need to get you know the drone shots the i need to just say uh everything with with the the shots like trying to get yeah. medi close medium wides and just being by myself definitely helps but whenever i'm put into a situation with other people it's a bit more spontaneous and fun and like yeah i don't know you it seems like you've hiked with other people have you ever hiked by yourself yeah the the one in big bend was my first time like really okay. hiking alone, a film about was, solitude yeah yeah which was it was a grind dude first of all like I feel like I go into all these trips with like zero because I hate planning. It makes me super anxious. So there's like no, there's very little planning going into this, but it was a grind, but it was, it was fun. And it was definitely a lot easier to like film and get shots and that sort of thing. But like, I know you've been to Big Ben. I think I watched your video before I went. Yeah, um, it's definitely me on my completely channel. Empty. <laughs> it was completely empty, dude. What, what month did um, you go? I went, I don't know exactly. It was in the fall though. It was, it was the like. The fall, okay. So, wait, no, it was in the winter. It was in the winter. So it everything was, was dead right no yeah leaves. everything was kind of dead yeah it was mm. like also the week i chose the week where there was like a cold front and uh, it was like texas had a freeze so it was it was chilly but that's yeah, probably I like Big good Bend. though right because i remember going and it was a bit hot um, yeah that's what people have said like after like may you can't really go out there but i was surprised because i thought it would just be like complete desert but like i was surprised to see some mountains and that sort of thing so yeah, i enjoyed could, it could that you imagine fun. making that video with no talking though uh i mean this was like honestly if this video is my first attempt at like leaving a lot of space mm -hmm. um and very inspired by like what you've done with the silent hiking videos is like all right let's like leave some more space like have more ambient music oh it's infinite it it's is. like psychotic amount of space like <laughs> sometimes i go <laughs> yeah. crazy like i have so much to say like there's so much story yeah, yeah, yeah. between these shots that i'm just leaving on the table but yeah do you do you uh do you want to like add more of that in or is that something you're like, eh, like, like yeah. how do you feel towards that? I definitely yeah. get the itch sometimes. Like it would be very yeah. easy for me to just do the same thing over and over again and make money and go home. But, uh, yeah. you know, I, I change things, delete things, uh, almost to my detriment. Like my, my true fans will know how much I've changed things and brought it back. Like deleting Instagram at one point, two years ago or, you know, yeah. just stuff like that. Yeah. Um, no and you're like a minimalist right like would you would you prescribe yourself as a minimalist still or like yeah it's it's just been so time. ingrained that it's hard to notice like it just seems normal <laughs> to me yeah I, lo I love the subtitles you put <laughs> what, what's with that it. that's such a that, gen I, are you gen z I, right yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah. such a gen z thing just have uh, subtitles and everything right yeah yeah i don't know i i saw one of my friends elliot he is on youtube as well elliot Choi. he started doing that and i was like this is kind of cool because sometimes I'm like, I don't really feel like doing a voiceover or something. It doesn't fit. And like, also it's kind of serene. So I want to keep it that way. I want to interrupt by like just talking. So I was like, this could be, this was kind of cool. So mm -hmm. I think a lot of people liked it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I, what's, I, I what's your final it. review of Big Bend? So I've done the exact same. I'm looking at it right yeah, now yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm getting flashbacks well, well, to the exact same is, spots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing is like, I really enjoyed it because it was, it was so quiet. And there was so much space and that's like kind of what i was looking for um but honestly my expectation was so low that i was definitely blown away because i was like this is going to be complete desert bro. Mm -hmm. like i was like i'm just gonna walk flat for like the whole time yeah so i i liked it um but also like i haven't so i just got back from a grand canyon trip it was my first time in the grand canyon and 
this trip that I just went on was like my third backpacking trip. So I don't, I only have enough like data points to know, you know, like I've never done like Tetons or anything crazy like that. So mm -hmm. there's a lot to do. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's still a lot of work to do before I can start judging them. But I mean, how'd you like this my YouTube what channel is just a menu. So you can just yeah, scroll yeah, through literally. and pick whatever you want. Literally. I'm like, all right, I can look at what Craig did. Like, how do you do this? Like, yeah. Does that look cool? Does that look fun to do? Yeah. So. For, for me personally, yeah. I struggle with, um, I've done so many hikes and I've been to so many huge, beautiful mountain ranges and I've had such an away, wide array of experiences when it comes to backpacking and, and trekking in general mm -hmm. that when I went to Big Bend, um, I went because I feel, felt like I had to. I felt like there was nothing mm -hmm. else for me to do that month, uh, that distance from where I was living. So <clears throat> it, it didn't get, you know, there's, there's a more beautiful time to visit Big Ben. So I was a little overwhelmed, but I had low expectations. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. it, and it's tricky ever... for me because like, I'll go out there by myself and yeah. if I'm just making a product, but I don't want to be there, it's impossible to not show that, <laughs> you know, like it's so mm. apparent on camera when I'm not passionate about what I'm doing. So, uh, mm. like you're saying it's quiet out there, but that's a beautiful thing. Like you can unplug away from your phone you're not looking at social media like if you don't download any videos or don't have an audiobook to listen to like you could bring a paper book and just do that or for yeah. once in our life we could literally just embrace the boredom and like feel what that feels like <laughs> exactly yeah it was crazy on this big ben trip of like i was craving reading my book so much on those long days of just like yep. doing nothing and then also i'm curious if you felt this but I feel like the weirdest feeling is like after one of these trips is to go back, like come back into the city, go back home and slowly feel yourself like reconnect to the world or like re-enter society. It's such a weird feeling. Uh, I always explain that to people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, try, um, try being out alone for like four or five days with no cell service. You know, it's, <laughs> yeah. it just, it's crazy coming back. Yeah. So yeah. what, what, what is this, uh, camp? creator camp yeah i i'm happy to kind of give the overview like essentially like so i'd gone to school i grew up in michigan and so i went to school at university of michigan uh, my freshman year was like covid year i just went home then i decided to take a gap year because i started creating content then um and then i came back to school for a year but like during that gap year uh when i started creating all my friends went back to college and it was like the most depressing thing because i'm sure every creator feels this in some aspect when you're like finally kicked off like the path that everyone else is going on and doing your own thing it gets hella lonely and so at that time i started reaching out to people online just kind of how i dm'd you you know like i uh, found a lot of other folks who are like my age just creating content online maybe weren't in school and so we kind of made like a group chat started doing accountability calls uh, and then we eventually like went out to montana for a month because we were like you know we should meet up at some point so we convinced our parents to let's like drive to montana had a great month there. It was super inspiring where like it was the first time we had been around other people who did the same thing. So we could like wake up and edit together and, and kind of the concept that we all found each other around was like the idea of like bring more film type videos to YouTube or like more meaningful videos to YouTube. And so, yeah, from there, we're like, how do we bring this to more people? Uh, the thing is, it's very expensive to like host something like that. So we're like, hey, why don't we try to make it bigger? And so that's when Creator Campus formed is like, hmm kind of a way to just meet more folks who are like doing existing in this world but are on their own path and like connect the dots and it's been really fun so we've been doing that for the last few years just like hosting events and like bringing folks together from different mediums of creativity and who, who is we yeah it's been really fun There's uh no I, way you I did this by a, yourself no no not a chance no so like some of the friends that i met in that first year uh also some of my roommates chris and max um because we all moved down to austin in the fall so they've helped me put this together. And so like that that's like where Max you are cool. now, Austin? Yeah, yeah, in Austin right now. Cool. Currently. You're liking um, it? Yeah, I I like it. It's been the weather's way better than Michigan like in the winter it was really nice and like it's, yeah. Yeah, I like it. The only thing is there're no mountains here, you know. There's yeah. no like you're not surrounded, but it is what it is. It's it's been fun. Um but yeah, that's kind of the idea behind Creator Camp and we've just been hosting these events, bringing really cool people together. Um, having them share parts of themselves. So like at our last event, we had like a poet give uh, a poetry workshop and then like a musician give a music workshop and someone do an editing one. So hmm. uh, we found a lot of 
fun in that and like it's been fun building community i guess um but yeah i mean how have you felt like because you're in new york right currently <laughs> yeah so yep. how, have you like really found like a creative community there because there are a lot of people there like how have you kind of navigated that? yeah i've been here so long and um you know back when we were all vlogging uh, yeah there was such a strong vlog community with like sarah dici and eric conover mm. and sam sheffer and just like a bunch of like brett conti and gabe um okay yeah and covid kind of changed things a lot of people left some people came back like myself um but it's never been the same and um mm. there's just uh been a little bit of splintering and also i'm just feeling a bit older so uh things yeah. are different as far as that like i'm i'm literally looking for couples who are pregnant to go on walks with <laughs> not just creators um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah it's different for me but new york is definitely like uh, more energetic than Denver because we spent yeah. a year in Denver feeling it out. Okay. Um, okay. And I, since COVID, I've switched a lot of my community online. So I'm definitely craving more in person stuff. So I totally understand like the success and, and why, you know, people would want to do that. Uh, one thing that I've tried to do with my community is group hikes and trips, which has been interesting. I've probably done like four or five of them. Uh, oh, cool. some hiking some sightseeing and some trail running uh which is interesting and i definitely want to do two or three of them next year like one hike one trail run and one like retreat kind of thing oh cool do you do that like yourself you just organize everything yourself or do you do like a, like a trove a trip type service thing so i've tried three things trying i tried to do it myself once and we just did a drive mm -hmm. up to the adirondacks uh north of the catskill mountains where you're doing the the next oh, event cool. um and that was just with like me and a handful of people and it was a, a lot of work just doing it by myself and not really profitable but it was fun to do uh and mm -hmm. then i tried like a big company uh trova trip and yeah. uh, they were just too too corporate, too hands off, and just too much. Uh, so in the mm -hmm. middle was like a mom and pop travel company, um, and they every trip I've done with them has just been fantastic. So I'm, that's where I'm going to be doing trips because they plan everything, uh, they do the tickets, they do you know the travel guide, and then uh, they collect the money and then pay me, and everything's easy. Oh, that's cool. That's sweet. How so? Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I've been thinking about trying something like that, but it is very intimidating, especially like I haven't traveled many places or done a lot of trips myself. Like, I feel like if I took people, I'd want to go to somewhere I've already been. Or are you taking people like to places you've never been and like helping organize that? Yeah, I I, I get that. Yeah, one place that I would go is definitely Iceland. Like I've been there so many times, I know exactly what restaurant to go to, what hotel to go to. <laughs> like, yeah. It definitely makes oh, the actually, research easier. I'm going to hit you up because... I'm going to Iceland for the first time next month with some friends. Awesome. So yeah, if you got anything, maybe I'll get a guide or something. But yeah, it looks fun. It looks There's crazy. just so many places for you to go to. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Dude. I don't know. Once it's, you once you so start cool. hiking and backpacking, it just opens up travel so much. And like that's my yeah. advice to anyone starting out, especially like video creators. Like, mm -hmm. uh, there's just so much demand for good, wholesome, uh, nature travel docs and hiking oh, yeah. stuff and yeah no for sure do you so you're planning brazil that's what that's what you're planning when are you going to brazil um probably next week i think if i next can week? um <laughs> I'm, I'm looking up so there's probably like two things so i'm pretty sure i'm good on vaccines but i'm just gonna double check if i need any last minute recommended vaccines yeah. uh but it would be a quick trip maybe four or five days um just want like bang it out I've got one hike that I want to do. That's an overnighter. That is okay, cool. uh, 19, 20 miles. So that's low key easy. Yeah. And uh, I've never been to Brazil. So. Oh, cool. Cool. This would be a good starter. Usually I want to keep my starter trips easy and then I return. Like I've been to Peru six times, been to Iceland five times, like been to Nepal three times. Um, so would I'm, you ever, a, wait, have I'm, you done like ever a space camp? Yeah. yeah. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Everyone should oh, do that. Okay. If you're considering it, you should just do it. I, I think you would okay. you'd love it before it gets I like this, insanely uh, crazy. I asked this guy, he, he hit me up on Instagram and he does like crazy trips to like those 8,000 meter, like, like, I don't even know. He's like a professional 
I don't I don't even know what like high altitude backpacker. Mm. Um, or I don't even know mountaineer, I guess. <laughs> And he said, this is the best beginner one. My favorite yeah. So, I yeah. Know, I've been thinking about it. Check, check this out, though. I, I sent it over Discord. It's Amadablam. Yeah. He said, do this. How, would you ever do anything like this? As like, far as a summit? Yeah, yeah, is yeah. That, that's what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I uh, full summit. Yeah. So I, I was on a reality TV show um, when I was doing Everest Base Camp, and uh, the winner... It was kind of like Survivor, but in the mountains. And the win, like the three last finale people, it was a, a, a minute or a race up to the summit of Amadablan. Um, so, oh no way! I did not have to do that, <laughs> but it looked intense. Okay, okay. It looked really, really crazy. Um, but Jeez. I would, if I were you, I'd get some more experience before I tackle that. But <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Because <laughs> some summits are just different. Um, like even Kilimanjaro down in Africa is like pretty accessible and a good test for getting up into the cold and high altitude yeah have you done no, colorado sure. at all like 14ers no i've done none of them mm. out there have you felt so. altitude sickness uh we host an event in colorado i no i haven't i haven't actually felt altitude sickness or like thrown up or anything yeah peru would probably be one of the best places to feel that like you fly into cusco and you're knocked out for a day Oh, really? we got, hold on. We got jo Jordan Stuttered in the chat and he's saying Holy Craig is my favorite v VTuber. I don't know if you're familiar with his TikToks. Yeah, yeah, I love Jordan. Yeah. I love your work. Love you, Hell Jordan. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. I would love to get you, uh, get your beautiful voice on this stream at some point, Jordan. Yeah, so let's here, hit man. it up. Dude's Hell like yeah. a mile away from me right now. We need to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean, a New York City squad, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm in Brooklyn right now. I don't know how often you've been to New York, but, like, getting across the yeah. bridge is sometimes difficult, like, uh, into, into Work Island, Manhattan Island, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, dude, I... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to switch so you finish your thought. No, so I was just going to say, I've been to New York, like, twice. I can't do it, man. Twice. It's yeah. too overwhelming. <laughs> Too, my midwestern brain can't handle it yeah i get it i get it i i the city gives me energy i love it yeah <laughs> so your right, website right. I, I was showing your website to mm -hmm. my uh like coder friend uh the other day and he's like this, oh, cool. is, this is notion what is this <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah is yeah. it a notion website what is this website yeah, yeah yeah so there's like this service that like helps you turn notion pages into websites it's like super.so or something and i was like Cause so one of my friends, Emma, she's like a creator as well. And she had something like this where she just kind of had like brain dump ideas and diary and journals. And I thought it was really cool, like creative ideas. So I was like, yeah, this would be fun for like a personal website. Cause I was like, for a while, I was like, maybe I should make a personal website, but then just making one on Squarespace or something seems kind of boring. Like what's a little different. And so, yeah, I just spent like a few weeks just building this out, which was kind of fun. And I was like writing down random ideas that come mm -hmm. to mind and sharing them so it is funny it it, it 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 all kind of makes sense like the way that you shoot and edit also kind of mirrors the playful chaos of this type of link organization i, I it's <laughs> funny because like you like you have a link to all the gear i use which then also links to a link, <laughs> to a link tree one. and then within the link tree it's like <laughs> Yeah. You have links can, back to the things that you already. I can feel your rising. I can feel your rising just looking at this, bro. Get out of there. Ah. Um. <laughs> obviously, it like this stuff isn't as important as making YouTube videos, right? So it's like, how much do yeah. you even stress about the minutia of this, <laughs> like yeah, linking? I've, you know what's interesting? I we like some a concept I've been thinking about a lot, or like the with creating content is like, how do you build a world? Um, has been like a focus. So like, for example, if you think of like Tyler, the creator or some artist like that, like you can almost feel the color, you know what their like universe looks like. Mm -hmm. And so I realized like it's in sharing little bits of yourself. So for example, like maybe I'll use like an anime OST that I watched in one of my videos and it's a tiny thing, but like 10 people are like, holy crap, that's so cool because I watch anime as well. Mm -hmm. and it's like, how do you build kind of that world? And like a lot of this stuff is just like putting up the website is just like 
random motivation on a Tuesday night where I'm like, this would be really cool. And how do you create more rabbit holes for like people to go down has been really fun for me. And also it's probably just like procrastination on like the main thing I have to work on. But that's kind of like the idea of like how uh, it's been fun. Like how do you build a world around what you're doing and like have rabbit holes for people to go down and like little parts of yourself self that you share. So that's like yeah. what the website. Cause my, of. like my question is how much of it is intentional versus just literally like this is just how you do things <laughs> yeah it's, like it's just how i do it <laughs> yeah, yeah i'll be honest yeah. but but the way that you describe the pros of it makes sense it's like literally building an interesting uh complicated world for your audience or just people who want to learn more about you like a place for them to discover and then you have no, your really. patreon which also links to your voice memos and you've got some editing breakdowns here dude what is going <laughs> on Bro, it's it's the world. I, so like, I guess for Patreon, I started that when I was in college. Um, mm -hmm. I was like, people were asking for editing breakdowns. So I was like, sure, let me just do those. Cause I remember watching some of the YouTubers I like and they would like share editing breakdowns. And I was like, this is cool. Um, which is something like when I record it, I feel like no one cares and like it <laughs> won't be helpful, but apparently it's been helpful. So I just keep doing them, they're fun to do. Yeah. And then like, I had a podcast for a while uh, I still like post every once in a while. It's literally just a brain dump. It's called like voice memos. So then I throw those out there and I like put those on Patreon too sometimes. So yeah. I mean, you have a podcast as well, right? Yes, ish. I switched it all to just this stream. So I've stream, completely okay. changed. So I, I listened to your It Gets Better Memo 31 <laughs> on, oh, your, on your voice oh, memos. Oh. So you, you, you do have like a podcast, but it's it's ringing so close to me because like I did this exact same thing. Like I've got, mm. I've got podcast episodes that I've got available archive somewhere, but back in like overall the past six years, I've probably done like 300 episodes of just audio Holy only God. podcasts. And, um, I get it. Like just, is, is this like a, you just hold your phone up and record kind of thing? Like whenever you're feeling yeah. motivated or do you like, what, what is the plan with voice memos like this? Yeah, I, well, the thing is, it was interesting, like, I'd started it because, I don't know, like, it was during COVID, and, like, you know, everyone has a podcast, I thought it'd be fun, just putting stuff out there. Actually, the the origin even goes further back, so, like, when I was doing the mental health uh, content on TikTok, I had essentially built up this list of, like, people's phone numbers, who I'd, like, essentially send out voice notes and, like, daily reminders, so small little positive notes, and... A lot of them were voice memos because I just found that to be like a lot easier and more fun. And so then people were like, hey, you should just make this podcast. And I was like, I should make it more accessible, not just like text blasting people. Um, and so that's where it came from, I think, originally. And then it's just fun to have that like time capsule of like, what what was I thinking exactly like two years ago? I can kind of like pull that up now. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like for a while, it was like weekly posts and that sort of thing. But now it's more like whenever I feel like just maybe just blabbling about something or just yapping about something or like mm -hmm. someone asking a question and it kind of comes up. But I found that it's very high impact in a sense of like people I've met in person that have recognized me have always mentioned the podcast and not a lot of people listen to it, but like mm -hmm. I, I found it to be really impactful, which is cool. I get that. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. What, what about your, your pod? Like you've done 300. That's cr like, is it kind of a similar thing or like, where did yeah. that come from? So it would go back and forth between interviewing people, but then I got into mm -hmm. more so just uh, solo updates. So I would collect, yeah. you know, I'd make, make my own notes and then I'd also just collect. So maybe over like two or three months and then I would calmly and, uh, you know, chronologically just go through whatever was up on my mind. Sometimes, you know, back before COVID, it was definitely a bit more oversharing more yeah, about yeah. depression and just like figuring out what I want to do creatively and you know mm -hmm. went through a breakup as most creators do like making content yeah. about <laughs> relationships oh, I've done that yes <laughs> yeah so cool. um yeah people like called that Craig sad boy era <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah but it was it was good and like you said I totally you know felt and got some insane fans like really connecting with those more so than mm -hmm. the other stuff a small bit uh but i'm always worried about just like being too available you ever mm. think about that 
So like if, if you have Instagram yeah. and YouTube and, and all these things, like there's so many ways for people to get a hold of you. Do you ever try to narrow that funnel so that you create more scarcity on your avail availability from your community? Or do you just kind of let every, anyone say anything whenever they want, yeah. however they want? No, it's definitely gotten better. Uh, I remember in the beginning, like during COVID, like I didn't know what I was doing, but I was just trying to help people. And like I made a discord and there were like people in there. And then we had moderators who help people. Oh, with, like, like, And it, it became like such a thing and it was so stressful. So that was like when I was most available to like the world and just, I think it was my naivete just like trying to help in any way I can, but actually like, n you know, not being the right person to help. And so I think I went through like very much being too available, even with the text thing, like I, it was crazy, dude. Like it's weird thinking about it now, but I'd stay up late, like responding to messages, trying to help folks out. Like mm -hmm. it was, it, it's nuts, but like, yeah, definitely pulled back in that, in that sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, because a, a lot of that was when I first started, but trying to keep a healthy distance, I guess. Um, Finding and that also, balance there's is a level tough. Of like, yeah, there's a level of guilt, I feel like, that you'll naturally feel of, like, I should respond to these things, or I should, but I've gotten better at that, I think. Over, like, meeting more creatives and maybe people who have done it longer than I have, and that, that's been really helpful. So um, when you're saying like yeah. text, did you literally dox your phone number or? No, it was like this, it was a service to like community. So it's okay. like a text, like it's technically marketing, I guess, but I was using it as, it was way too expensive. So I ended up like cutting it off, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was literally like, I had a backend and I was just like one-on-one -on -one texting people in the community. Do you um, answer emails? Do people email you? Yeah, every once in a while, not nothing too crazy, but uh, I do answer emails. Um, but then, like, my manager will forward me, like, stuff that comes in that's, like, more personal note-wise, but, hmm. yeah. So, you, you've got a lot going on. You also have, I don't know, like, a little tiny apparel business, but that probably doesn't take up much of your time, right? Yeah, no, that that used to be massive, and then okay. I ended up shutting it down because I was, like... yeah. That was before I started YouTube. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, I didn't... This is not what I was trying to, <laughs> like, build. Yeah. So I ended up shutting it down, but, yeah, just every once in a while when I'm, like... I want to make something physical. Uh, I try to like put something out, but yeah, and that's pretty much the unpause. sunny day coffee company is probably uh, a lot of people working on it. Like other than you, right? Yeah. 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 So that's, that's been really cool. It was like a mentor of mine. His name is Brian. Um, I wrote the note for you as well. And you guys have probably messaged a few mm -hmm. times, but yeah, he was like a mentor of mine, like older brother for like last few years, just like helping me out and everything. Um, if you, do you know the channel? Yes. Theory. Yeah. He, he used to like run Seek Discomfort, their clothing brand. He was like the CEO there and that's when I met him. And then he was like, yeah, I want to, you know, do something that's more aligned and start something new in the outdoors. And at the time I was like shifting everything towards like being focused in the outdoors. So that's when we're like, hey, like uh, he wanted me to be a part of the team. And it's been, yeah, it's been cool. Also like working with people who are like way more experienced than me because everyone I've worked with like on camp or a different thing. It's like, we're all like early twenties just trying to figure everything out. But like, like, being in a business with people who are way more experienced definitely learned a lot from that for sure do you think this was like a big fork in the road for you just getting exposure from their audience and just like working with bigger creators like kind of your make or break or in terms of like yes theory yeah because it when yeah. when i search your name on youtube um there's a couple things that come up but the yes theory is the first suggestion that comes up yeah no it was crazy because it was just like such a this was like a while ago when I was, I was the biggest Yes Theory fan, you know, it's for them to like, hmm. like go on a trip with me and like, like I still like had talked with them a few times over the years. They've helped me out. So yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I feel like most creators in our community, like started watching Yes Theory in the early days, you know, with the Project Iceman and stuff as, hmm. as the main inspiration of like, I feel like they're the first people who like took storytelling to the next level on YouTube or put more meaning within their videos. Um, and they kind of started that, I guess like, so yeah. yeah, they've been a huge inspiration, just like emotionally too, just like, Hey, you got this type of type of vibe the last few years. So it's been, it's been awesome. Other than yes theory, like does another creator pop up in your mind for inspiration for how you, not only just how you create, but like how you live your life a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you do definitely. Um, with, in with what kind way? Of like, in in the way of like a lot of, like if you look at my Big Van video, it's very much inspired by like what you do and in, in the fact that like 
mm. you have these hiking videos you're exploring different places and like i think that's so freaking cool and just like i love that i like this the, the ambient nature of the videos where it's just so chill like i love that and so that's been something i'm just trying to put in my videos and then i appreciate the thumbnails will... <laughs> I yeah, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. no text thumbnails you got going. On. Yeah, the the simplicity, you know. Yeah. So that's yeah, definitely definitely part of it. And then um, like my friends like Natalie. I don't know if you've seen any of Natalie Lynn's stuff. Um, Natalie Lynn. Yeah, I would definitely recommend checking her. It's basically like movies on on YouTube. Um, and so she's kind of part of like the YouTube New Wave crew and like her friends like Valspire family, Aiden. There's this whole like group of people that like. I found a lot of inspiration from. Um, I'd, I'd say the closest, uh, you know, uh, link I might have to the that group might be Infinite Elliot. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I've met Elliot a few times. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's awesome. Never forget yeah. meeting him and his mom in a coffee shop in New York when he visited back like years oh, no ago. Way. <laughs> like, no he, way. he was a subscriber. Like interest like who really wanted to meet and just like chat over coffee but he was like too young to uh like be here by himself or something yeah, no it's just like funny like that, um yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at natalie lynn right now and you're saying that natalie's like a good representation of this youtube genre of new yeah Earth? she's almost like the face of, like her videos are just different um like it's so i've never heard of any of these people it's like i youtube is crazy because you'll just to make a left turn and just find exactly such... <laughs> yeah yeah so tell, tell I, me more I about her like, but there, there's another person i want to try to remember because along this yeah. vein but what what's her deal yeah so natalie she she makes films on youtube like um kind of in this like youtube new way style like she inspired a lot of it like I mean, all we did was like put a name to it, really. But like, this it's was important. kind of like yeah. inspired by her. Yeah, for sure. Um, but she lived in a van for a year. We met her. She came to our like first event ever, um, and she's been out to a few things. And she's just been a great friend. And yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out her stuff. Um, it's, it's definitely in that vein. I, I was curious, like, have you ever seen that? I think one YouTuber did it where they built like the, the like, whole overview of the YouTube space and how like creators are like these big nodes and everyone connects like i'm so curious like where we lie in that and like how far away we are from each other i always think about that sounds if it's been done that would be interesting to just like <laughs> see but like it's no, no. i also kind of have to laugh to myself because this is just so out of my wheelhouse it makes me feel a bit <laughs> older um you know it's the yeah, showing you the world, Craig. The no, no, seriously, I'm gonna like. I'm curious yeah. about all this stuff because, like, the the literal audiobook that I'm listening to right now by Cal mm -hmm. Newport is about slow productivity, and it, it's about this new, uh, like, the genre is taking over. Like, there's slow version of everything. Like, how do you do everything more sustainably and smarter, and like, not like infinite money glitch, Mr. Beast, uh, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, How? I'm, I'm going to be watching this stuff and I, I swear to God, you're going to like, if you watch any of my newer videos, you might notice some of your cinematography or something might rub Let's into go. my videos. So. Yeah. Let's go. I'll, I'll send you some other stuff as well. Um, cool. But yeah, I think it's always cool. Like bridging the worlds. How, how have you found like, like how sustainable do you feel like you, your kind of trajectory is right now on YouTube? Like, do you feel comfortable in it? Like, is it a good pace for you? Um, and, and if so, like, how'd you manage to get there? Yeah, it's been a lot of genre shifting, but like I said, mm -hmm. I'm in a really good spot with, um, the hiking videos because I feel like I'm making a product that is valuable to people. And especially it's been surprising, uh, the success of putting them together. So it's almost like I, I, I hike and travel for an entire year, um, all to make one big compilation video uh yeah to put them all together and um yeah I, like uh, creating a menu for people to learn how to travel and hike and be okay mm -hmm. traveling alone and like be, being comfortable with putting themselves in in risky situations as far as like am i gonna have fun on this trip like it's a lot of money to go to this place but like i, I don't know i i i'm i'm kind of just trying to help the younger self um travel better you know 
like yeah. what I wish no, I had. I love that. Uh, I love. But uh, I've got so many places to go. Like I've got a huge list of potential places, and and doing these streams, like I just get the best mm -hmm. research. Like it's like automating my community to do the planning and research for me. And half yeah. of the places I visit, like I didn't know about a week ago. So it's like, you know, what do I know? Hell yeah, that's like yeah. It's it's crazy because you're like. I mean, I look at your channel. I'm like, Craig's eventually gonna hit the exploring every place on the earth. <laughs> But, you know, I don't think realistically you're going to run out of places to, to go. No, there's so much. And <laughs> and I don't even know, because it's like you could go to the popular places that have SEO and Google and, and uh, like some traffic to get more traffic. But you could also go to places that no one knows about and kind of mm -hmm. just kind of blow it up, uh, whether that's good or yeah. bad for the place itself. But, um, yeah, oh, it, it, dude, it's a weird also... mix of product and like actually enjoying the trip, though. <laughs> Yeah, I you you uh, hiked with Elena, right? Yeah, that's right. That's so cool. Uh, I know her decently well. Um, You've seen her videos? That... Yeah, she was at one of our events, uh, like a year ago. Oh. Actually, a year ago today. Um, like a creator camp yeah, thing, or so yeah, yeah, one of the creator camp events. Oh, um, that's awesome. So cool. Yeah. yeah. No, that's so awesome. How was how was that? How was New Zealand? It was great. It was definitely good to have like a local showing us the ropes and she's such a great yeah. hiker it was really funny to hike with someone who's my speed if not faster so that was unique because yeah. <laughs> i'm usually uh, dude, your pace is crazy <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah um but you know uh we've met up with her in new york and um she's such a honest wholesome person she's good yeah uh, the best it's it's tough sometimes making youtube videos in tandem with other creators though because there's mm. can be like a competitive aspect to it but uh, i don't know it's yeah it's, i'm so used to traveling by myself it's it's different traveling <laughs> with other people because I, I get into more of like a jokey vlog type and not as static and serious yeah 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 Ish. um dude so much and like i said like i've got i'm gonna watch more of your stuff and I'm fascinated with like the crazy edit, like the editing is kind of what entices me the most. The vulnerability, mm -hmm. the audio notes, the mixed formats of like audio recordings with the video, um, the crops, and then obviously like the, 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 the coffee company and the creator camp. I wish I could go to the one that you have in the Catskills. That would be such a no brainer, but it's literally yeah. when my wife is doing. <laughs> Yeah, that's a crazy time. Like that's the worst time. timing. <laughs> uh, yeah, but no, I'm no sure worries. it'll be a success. We'll, it'll be fine. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, uh, I'll send you info for like future things too. Yeah, if, if I could make future ones happen, I definitely would try to go out of my way. Um, oh yeah. But yeah, I, I don't want to keep you for too long. This was great, and um, no, I appreciate it. Obviously, if uh, we can do this again it's simple to do the voice i i i feel like it it helps like it would be a little different if we had like uh video because i wouldn't be able to multitask with the the display and the screen you know yeah what I mean? yeah yeah no for sure and I'll, I'll i'm gonna send you this guy gox i'm not sure if you've seen any of his videos but gox if you like the how do you work. spell how do you spell that it's like uh g-a-w-x G -A -W -X. This is yeah. the one. Okay, this is what I was trying to remember. I went down yeah. a rabbit hole of looking at this. And I was like, what is this? No, it's insane, I've dude. never he heard of this guy before, but his stuff is insane. It's insane. Yeah. It's so insane. weird. I love it. Yeah. It's so cool. But... What do you know about yeah, this guy? Well. What's your connection? Uh, Gox, is, Gox is great. I just know him through like mutual friends and like I've never met him, but like his stuff is incredible. Uh, man is just on a different level. I yeah, feel like what, what does he out. represent to, like, the category, I guess? Well, I feel like it's interesting. I feel like we almost, like, push the category forward, but it's, like, then people, like, Gox just took it to a different level with what they create and how they create, and it's just, like, yeah. I feel like YouTube New Wave as a whole is, like, it's just, like, a movement to, like, create more meaningful stuff online, and I feel like that's kind of happened this year. Like, it definitely felt the the, like... Because I feel like for a while it was like this underground grungy thing that we're trying to push across. No one's like, what is this thing, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's been cool to see it kind of take over people's like feeds and help people create. But yeah, Gox, I mean, he's just like, he's insane, man. I've <laughs> never so... seen anything like this. 
Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So it's he's gonna make movies for sure. Yeah. This and then he crazy. and then he has like a separate channel for travel stuff, and that's yeah. Or, or I don't know if it's a separate channel, but he he is like travel videos, and it's so interesting to see. You know how yeah, no. someone who's this unique with his art stuff also doing something that we all kind of have done ourselves. So yeah, he has no. a unique voice and way of doing things, and it's so cool to see. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, yeah, he's, he's crazy, dude. That we're hoping to do one day, maybe <laughs> maybe not this year, but do like a big creator camp, like backpacking trip or something. Maybe this year, honestly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get all these guys together. That's just what fascinates me. I think about bringing people together is like, how do we get you to meet Gox and get to meet like a musician, then meet like a... Uh, you know all these different folks who are creating really cool things uh, mm -hmm. across the globe i think something about that's really exciting and just the the things that will come out of that are probably like gonna change like a lot of things and move culture forward and that's just like what what's this is all about i guess at the end of the day so yeah unique yeah, people yeah. doing unique things is always exactly. amazing because it just opens so many doors for other people just to see that it's possible and then they're like oh wow if he can do that like i maybe i could do this it's just exactly so good for everyone so yeah um, for sure for sure dude um but yeah i pretty i appreciate you having me on yeah um thank you so we'll definitely much be in touch. yeah totally dude this is really fun this is my first time like live streaming i guess so hmm. like there you go this is actually this is hella fun Word. um uh and yeah. uh yeah good luck i think you're about to go on a big trip right you're well maybe yeah. you're going to la then europe right yeah la and then i'm going to europe doing iceland and everything so yeah. Dope. Yeah, um, goes. And uh, TK, just do you know TK? TK King? Taylor? Taylor he King. Yeah. Local. Yeah, yeah, he said you need an intern. You just DM me. <laughs> and George, oh, you're talking awesome. to him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just popped up my ideas. I love that. And TK is awesome. I didn't know He's you sick. guys know each other. We'll, we'll definitely have some more. We'll talk about that. <laughs> no, for sure. Hell yeah. All, All right. right. Appreciate it, Craig. Yeah. Good luck with the stream. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Much love, dude. Peace. Wow. What a dude. Wholesome Simon, indeed. So glad to um, get to chat. I'm curious to know what you guys think. This is also the first time that we're inviting voice on the channel for these streams. So Obviously, this will be like a VOD, um, but I hope this... You know, shifting gears wasn't too crazy. When I watch interviews on stream, uh, I like having context. So that's why I think keeping it voice only on Discord is a good way for me to multitask because I want to like show context and look at what we're talking about because then that gives me ideas about where it can go from here and people watching uh, have has some context about what we're talking about. Like, who is this person? What are they talking about? What do they do? If we're talking about a video, like why not show the video? And then um, I've also seen interviews on stream where two pe people are talking, but you don't know who it is. So it's like having this little text at the top is the simplest way that I can at least let people know who I'm talking to. And I know that there's like a pop-up overlay for discord voice i i used to have it but now it's gone i just need to google it and get it on my screen so that whenever someone's talking a little bubble pops up and i think that would be really good yeah so small improvements but overall i think this is a great format that i would like to do more of in the future gox is like the jacob collier of you of tube content creation. So am I an idiot for not knowing who Jacob is? <laughs> like, am I that far out? Okay, so this guy was um, on Colin and Samir's. I think this is like the one episode that I haven't watched of Colin and Samir. I need to, I need to watch this one. I, I just didn't know who this was at all. <laughs> like I have zero reference for this person. 
And I usually watch all the Colin and Samir stuff, but I just skipped this one for some reason. I'll definitely watch that um, when I take Sasha out for a walk, who is so good. Some t I've got the green screen behind me. Got the green screen behind me, and uh, she's being such a good girl. She Usually she's scared about it. I'm a musician and a fil filmmaker photographer. That's why I make the Gox Jacob Colin. Okay. I had seen Simon for the first time in one of Natalie's videos. One of her best ones. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check out her stuff as well. These nice talks made my day better. That's nice. You guys are sweet. Um, We got to get Colin on the stream. We got to get his Discord. <clears throat> I'm going to text him because... It would be fun just to take five or 10 minutes to catch up on voice at some point when he's not busy um, because we've talked about hiking and traveling in general. Um, so it'd be great to reconnect. Uh, gotta make that happen. Yeah. It was interesting, not crazy at all. It was fun to hear the two of you interact. Plus, it's a way to keep it fresh for yourself. You need to keep it real in your own headspace. Yes, Scott. <laughs> I may have a link for that Discord overlay, says Aurora. I have to look for it when I get home if you're still using OBS. So, yeah, I'm using OBS Streamlabs. But like I said, I have had it before. Uh, so I know it's possible. So if you can get it to happen, that's amazing. Thank you. Hello, Craig. I'm a Brazilian, live in New York. Nice. Okay, so. <clears throat> Anything else? Yeah, mainly just like... Um, everything's good. Okay, so... Jesus Christ, another 3,000. This video is going insane. The views too, it's getting like a hundred, it's like almost a hundred thousand per day views. Absolutely insane. See, this is, I, I wanna say title and thumbnail but it was a mix of, of re-getting the license, but also, I don't know, like why is this video going crazy? Jordan says, just popped into the stream real quick. He wants to hang out. I'd love to hang out, Jordan. I'll text you in a minute. But yeah, would love to reconnect, see how everything is going. Um, the YouTube channel. So, um, I switched the title or the thumbnails to just a literal screenshot from, and I think this is the format that I want to do going forward. Um, so this is just a placeholder, but I still need to get a better placeholder because I'm not doing the like open, like, I think the green screen is better. So I need to get a better template for that at least. And, um, as soon as this is done, I'm going to have to do the chapters. And what I would like to do is start clipping individual clips from these streams and VODs to upload either as shorts or to a clips channel. But we shall see. Got to do that. Hey, Craig, I've been following you for the last four years. I like your content and I hope you stay healthy, happy and keep creating new content for us. Yes. Thank you. It's nice to hear. I do plan on making what I call flagship content, you know, going on trips, single topic videos. I describe the hiking videos as what is the best view of a place, an experience, the best, and then getting out there, showing a whole video of how to get to that spot at the right time, happy, fed, <laughs> rested, in a good headspace. 
it was interesting talking to Simon because yeah, I, I do feel like I, I would like to switch up how I make videos sometimes and I'm not sure if changing the actual videos or just making supplemental videos. I don't know. I like the idea of just hammering out a format uh, for these videos and then having a bit more fun with these live streams. Uh, talking way more process. So all process, uh, how to behind the scenes for this stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. How long's it been? Two hours. So yeah, let's go rapid fire on the Q and A and then I'm going to uh, go for a walk, a long walk with Sasha. It's a bit overcast. It's a perfect day to take her for a walk or a run. You'll send it on Discord if you find it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. You may have missed my comment earlier, but if you choose to explore South America at some point, hit me up. Yeah, I, I appreciate any help, but it's hard to remember who uh, is tied to what area, so it's impossible for me to hit you up. Uh, I'm going to dox myself for my trip for this Brazil thing on Instagram. Instagram is like my mobile community space, so... I'll, I'll say I'm going to Brazil this time, any advice, and then I'll get a lot of inbound. And that's the best place to get advice and, and connect. Like when I'm in Brazil, if someone is there and wants to meet up at a coffee shop that they like or a restaurant or has a car and they're willing to take me to a trailhead, like all things like that is amazing. I love meeting subscribers when I visit and having some local Brazilians uh, to link up with would be great. So in that sense, if you see that I'm going to South America, that is the time to help me out. And uh, some of the best memories that I have while traveling is meeting up with subscribers. Like what comes to mind is going to Kathmandu for the first time. And I think the first day I was in that crazy, crazy city. Uh, I met up with a subscriber and he took me to this kind of like hole in the wall secret restaurant that I would have never found on my own but it was like low tables and cushions and like there were plants and it was healthy food and it just felt so good to like have someone kind of help me out in a new place while traveling and traveling alone can get a bit lonely sometimes so yeah I've got like so many good memories and stories about people uh subscribers linking up while traveling yeah I've yet to go do my mandatory animal inventory comment. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm from the south of Brazil. I live in Canada now. Nice. Yeah, this will be my first time in Brazil and should be pretty straightforward. Just gotta book that flight. I think it should be like, mm, connect, connecting in Bogota should be an easy flight and maybe 700 round trip, so not that bad. Congrats on the baby, thank you. Indonesia. Mm, it's not high, it's not the highest part of my priority list of where to travel and where to hike, but I would like to visit Indonesia and hike. I need to learn more about it, like what potential videos and hikes there are to do there. Leonardo, I'm going to go to uh, Rio de Janeiro to do this hike. That's the plan. Would you hike the enchantments again if you could get the hook up to a core permit? Yeah, enchantments are tough because I it's all about the permitting, so um, if I if I had some help getting access, see that's the thing. I'd like to go by myself though. But if I get access, I'm usually going with other people. So not that high on the list when I could do easier, accessible hikes in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, and sometimes national parks really aren't the best because uh, it just makes things more difficult, I guess. Yeah. Okay, this was great. Um, The next stream, next stream will probably be after I get back from Brazil. 
I'll have a lot to talk about and I'd like to get another guest on. I'm talking to a couple people, um, but the goal is to stream longer, but it's tough. I have to take Sasha out. I, I'm here by myself right now. Um, I didn't really get to talk about group trips. I had a couple things I wanted to talk about here on stream. Um, yeah, there's just so much more to talk about. And I really appreciate y'all hanging and uh, watching the videos. After the fact, I'm going to try to chapter it up because I, I know you you click on one of these videos and it's just like overwhelming. So just having all of these chapters is how I would watch the video. I would scr scrub through here, find what's interesting and start watching that. So I get it. Um, but yeah, really helps to have chat here helping with research and giving your feedback on everything. Really appreciate it. And like I said, I want to get more into storytelling, slowing down, not just reacting to everything. Um, yeah. Okay. Have a nice day, y'all. I'm going to go watch, walk Sasha, drink some more coffee, make some dinner. Okay. Peace.